I'm going to do a quick review of three minimalist trail shoes. The first that I got was the Vibram Five Fingers. Second is the Merrill Trail Glove. And the third is the New Balance MT20. So the Vibram Five Fingers have each individual toe separate. And it's fairly difficult to get your foot into here. At least initially. You're, you'll get better at it over time. But... Um, it, I, I, it's, it's not easy. I bought socks to run in these because I don't like getting rocks in my shoes and it seems like when I go out and run in the woods a lot of rocks and stuff get, get into my shoes. It was very difficult to put your foot in these shoes with the socks on so I pretty much gave up and, and was just running in them with no socks on. You really need to run differently. You need to kind of like land on your on the ball of your foot and go back to your heel instead of heel toe as you're running along. So you so you come along and you 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 land as flat or a little bit on the ball of your foot as you can and land very gently on your heel because there's absolutely no padding on the heel. You really need to get very very strong in the calf muscles to to run with these things. One thing I don't like is there's no grippiness to this at all. Very slippery and muddy conditions and what I do like is, is they flex around everything. I mean they're just totally flexible and so you step on a rock it, you know your, your foot just flexes around it and you don't sprain your ankle ever. So or you know it's very unlikely you will. What I don't like is having to run without socks. There's almost no protection from sticks or anything, prickers, maybe you're running through, something like that. They are holding up okay. I One of my things is ripped right here. I don't exactly know how that happened, but they're okay, but I don't love them at all. The second shoe that I tried was the Merrill Trail Glove. Oh, one thing I forgot. On these, one time I was walking across the carpet and I kind of was just scuffing my foot and I stubbed my little baby toe I almost like like that and I almost broke it you know <laughs> so because you can't wear socks and because of the it's just tedious to put your feet in these so you know you're like oh do I want to put those on or would I rather put these on and the answer is I'd rather put these on these I said very slippery these have a much better tread they aren't anywhere near like as knobby as I would like to see but much better tread very flexible shoe flexes around everything you never you know low heel lift very low heel lift and I, I really these are my favorite of the the different shoes that I have actually so I've been quite happy with these except you know as running along one time or I, I tend to like hit the I think you tend to land a little bit on the outside of your foot and then roll in and as this is kind of your contact point and what has happened is I've stepped on a fair number of roots to the point where I have a bone bruise on my right foot on the outside here and I'm finding it almost impossible to run in these now and I need a more cushioned shoe. Really good shoe nice wide toe box oh that's the thing I, I love the way your foot feels in these having a nice wide toe box when you take your foot out oh my god it feels like heaven you know like your foot is not constricted and, and wonderful these are not as wide a toe box but but not bad you know I don't feel restricted but I don't feel really free which is one thing I really do like about about the Vibram five fingers now the New Balance Minimus MT20 I was hoping to really like and I tried on some in the store and they were narrow uh, very narrow up front so I ordered online the wide version of this and the only place you could get it was at newbalance.com unfortunately this Vibram sole is pretty slippery on wet roots this Vibram sole is less slippery on wet roots. Still would like a bigger lug pattern, but, but this is very slippery. This is feels much harder plastic. It feels much harder and more like plastic. This feels more rubbery 
and and gives a little bit so very disappointed in the bottom you know i thought this was going to be a little bit grippier the way it looks but it's actually quite slippery and and i don't know if you can hear it but it's it's not quite plasticky but it's not really rubbery so but the real problem with these is this back here the stitching is digging into my heel and giving me blisters and it's like it's it's buckled in and and digs into the back of my heel back here very not bent in like that and there's no I don't have any issues at all with these these um, I didn't have any issues with either but there's like nothing to them they're just uh, very flexible so but this is this is kind of rigid kind of has a, a bend right here that is is digging into my heel and so uh, wouldn't really recommend do like a lot and I don't know if I like the I love the feel of the five toes separate but just there's not enough protection from sticks and and stuff and you can't wear socks easily in them and you can't wear any just any socks you need the socks with all the fingers and these you can wear any socks you want they're very almost perfect maybe a little bit wider toe box and i would be absolutely thrilled so my recommendation would be to get the merrill barefoot uh trail glove I would not recommend the New Balance Minimus based on being slippery and digging into my heel. These also slippery. I know they've come out with new ones that have some kind of tread pattern to them. But also having to put the five finger your, your five toes in there is tedious, slow. They probably aren't going to last you a long time. This is very thin <coughs> material. This is a much thicker, protective kind of material. So I think these are the way to go. Just my two cents.